Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a horizontal scrolling section inside of Wix Studio. Now I do wanna say this was first found by the I Love Editor X channel. So if you guys have not subscribed to this channel already, I will leave his links in the description below. I know I always give him huge props anytime he finds something that's so cool and I wanted to show you guys as well. So here is what we are gonna be building in today's video. We can come down to this section and it starts scrolling to the left and then it waits a few seconds and then keeps scrolling down to the next section. So without further ado, let's go ahead and build this inside of Wix Studio. So here we are in Wix Studio. So the first thing I wanna do is actually just add like a little container to our website and I'm just gonna make it really, really small. And just so it's easier for us all to see, I'm gonna change the color to a black color. Now for this, I'm going to just center it on the section and I want to add some margin to the top and bottom. For this one, I believe I did 100 VH on the top and we'll also go ahead and do that to the bottom as well. So as you can tell, this section is very, very long because the margin that's applied to this container. It has 150 VH on the top and 150 VH on the bottom. Now with the section itself, I'm just going to remove the height. In fact, I'm just gonna turn on advanced sizing and just make sure that there is no height properties attached to it. Now the whole idea of this container here is when this enters the viewport, we want an animation to start. And when it leaves the viewport, like off the screen at the top, we want the animation to stop. To show you this, I'm just gonna add a very basic shape to the website and I'm going to send it to the top and maybe add 10% margin. And we'll also set it to sticky with 10% margin or 10% offset. Now to make this work, what we're actually gonna do is come down to this container and we're gonna add a scroll effect. Now we don't want to add the scroll effect to the line itself. We want to apply it to this vector art. So what we're gonna do is come over to animated element and select the basic shape. For this, let's just go ahead and choose the spin. We'll just go ahead and we'll set this spin count to four, scale to 100 and the animation area zero to 100. And we'll go ahead and exit out. So now when we go ahead and preview the website and we scroll down, we scroll down, you'll notice as soon as this line or this container down here enters the viewport, the animation begins and it's gonna continue doing so until it leaves the viewport. Now I will say that this banner that we have that says this website was made by Wixfix is technically in the viewport. So even though this container line thing that we have here, is going behind the banner. It's not technically out of the viewport until it reaches this top line. So that's kind of why it continues out, outside of what we can actually see. But that's the general premise of this effect here. So what I want to do is go ahead and design our sections now. So I'm just gonna delete this one. And what we're gonna do is add a flex box to the page. So we're gonna go over to add layout tools, and we'll just grab this one right here. Now for this design, what we're gonna want to do is set the width to 100% for now. For the height of this flex box, what you're gonna want to do is do 100 VH. And that's gonna take up 100% of your user's device. However, because like I mentioned before, we have that banner there, what I'm going to do is set this to a calculation, which is going to be 100 VH minus 50 pixels. Now you don't need to do that. This is just for me to show you a better example or a live product of it. But for you, you're just going to want to leave it at 100 VH and we'll go ahead and close out. Now, what I want to do is actually set this to rows temporarily. And then for each one of these elements in, or items inside of the flex box, we'll go ahead and set each one of these to 100 VH. So we'll go to each one and set each one to 100 VH. In fact, you're gonna want to set this to 100 VH, but again, I'm gonna want to change this to 100 VH minus 50. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. I'm also going to go ahead and do that for this one up here. And I will do that for this last one as well. Perfect. So now we have three kind of large sections here. And inside of each one of them, we can design a section however we want. Just for fun, I'm going to just add a very basic image to each one of these. So I'm just going to copy this image. I'm going to paste it in here, stretch it and change it. And we'll do it for this last one as well. And you can design these layouts however you want. However, for the sake of time in this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it just as images just to give you an idea of how this works. But now that we are done with this, what I want to do is actually grab the flex box and we're going to set this to columns and we're going to set the width to 300%. So now we should have something that looks like this. But with the Flexbox selected, we're also going to want to make sure we align it to the left. So basically it moves it to its starting point here. And the last thing we're going to want to do is, and this is just personal preference, but I'm going to remove the gap in between the, the Flexbox items. If you don't want to do that and you want there to be a little bit of a space, that's perfectly fine. But you are going to have to remember that in the next step. Now it is time to move the flex box. So what we're going to do is grab the container. We're going to come over to interactions, scroll, and we're going to add a scroll interaction. Now, again, we don't want the scroll interaction to apply to the container. We want to apply it to the flex box. We also don't want the animation to apply to its design. We want it to start from its design and we're going to choose the move option. Then we can press adjust in the bottom. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to set this to 270. That way we're making sure that it's moving left. We want to make it move in the correct direction. So 270 is going to help us move it to the left. For the distance, we aren't going to want to have this be 400 pixels. We're going to want this to be 200 VW because we have two other screens that we're trying to preview here. So, so we're just going to want to move it two more screens over basically. And this is where you would want to also include that uh, extra space if you left the gaps in there. For example, if I just grab this flex box really quickly and we left like an eight pixel gap and we switch this over to viewport, then we would have to include an extra 0.6 per space. So this would be 1.2 VW extra that you would need to add. But again, we are not going to be including that. But now that we're back in the animation settings, the last thing we're going to want to do is change the animation area from 50 to 100 to 100, 0 to 100, just like that. Great. And the last thing we need to do is to grab this flex box we need to set the position type from default to sticky and we're going to leave it at zero. And now we are basically done. So if we go up to the top of the screen and we scroll down, we'll get to this point. And if I start scrolling again, it's going to wait a little bit. You can see the scroll bar here and it's going to start moving across. And then once, once it gets to the last slide, it's going to wait a little bit and then it's going to start moving again. Now I will say that this line right here has holds a lot of power. You can see when I was animating through them that this was actually going pretty fast. So to make it go a little bit slower, all we need to do is grab this line and maybe we can set this line to be like 500 VH. So it's going to be pretty tall. But now when we go ahead and preview the website, you're going to notice that it's now moving so much slower. And I think that's a really good way to be able to control the speed of this little scrolling interaction. And another thing to kind of mention, if you want it to animate as soon as we hit this, as soon as this section hits the top, you know, we're scrolling right here. Nothing's happening because we have a little break here. And then same at the very end where there's like a little bit of scrolling break before it moves on. If you want to edit the length of that, what you can do is grab this line and you can adjust this margin. So if you don't want it to have that little break in the very beginning, 
you can just set this to 100 VH. And if you want maybe a longer break at the very end, then we can set that to a, a higher number. And so now when we go ahead and press preview, and we scroll up to the very top, you know, as soon as we scroll down, you can notice it's gonna start the interaction effect here. And then at the very end, you'll notice I'm still scrolling right now, but it's taking a, a lot longer for the effect to kind of move on to the next section. So as you can see, this container element right here holds a lot of power. If you want to speed up or slow down the actual moving of the object, you can change the height of this container. And then if you want to adjust the timing before the animation starts and the timing after the animation starts and moves on to the next section, you can then edit the top and the bottom margin. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Also, if you have not checked out I Love Editor X's channel yet, who this idea basically originated from, then I will leave his channel linked in the description. Please go subscribe to it if you haven't already. He's always uploading some really cool stuff there. But thank you all again for watching and I will see you on the next one.